Hello folks, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you to discuss Rangers 4-2 victory over Aberdeen at the shit tip tonight. Uh, wow, what a game that was, it had absolutely everything that you might expect from a Rangers Aberdeen fixture, especially one of this importance with both sides trying to keep pace at the top of the table and it was a huge win for Rangers because I do believe had we dropped points tonight that, that would have been it for the title race, uh, the defeat at Kilmarnock two weeks weeks ago has meant we don't have much wiggle room and we really had to go there and win and I think for our own confidence we had to get a victory over Aberdeen they'd beaten us the last two times out admittedly won in the cup but we hadn't beaten them in the league this season and if you want to be winning titles you've got to be beating the other contenders and uh, for Rangers to go and do it in their own midden I think was was excellent because uh, after years of disappointing results Aberdeen appeared to have developed a bit of a Billy Big Boss swagger against us based on two performances where they sat in and managed to cling on to 1-0 as well there was none of that tonight in the first half Rangers going with a 4-3-3 um, with a more uh, combative midfield that played against Celtic last month or sorry two months ago it was in December with uh, uh, Jack McCrory and Arthur field there and in the first half certainly it seemed to work with Rangers taking a 3-1 lead by half time the first goal came after good play by Ryan Jack he took the ball on gave it to Ryan Kent and then it's all about him leading the, the defenders like a, a sexy Pied Piper as he, he drove right round the box fires a shot the keeper can only palm away and there's Alfredo Morelos with an excellent first time finish to make it 1-0 Alfie was ragdolling their defence McKenna was having a total nightmare against them and really really got Got battered by the little Colombian. He was he was totally dominating them, but bit of bad defending from Rangers. Poor play by Borna Barisic. We saw the best and worst of his game tonight. Some excellent attacking moments, but he can at times be a little bit too soft for these matches, and he needs to develop that. He needs to be a bit tougher. He had the ball in the Aberdeen half. He has Kent free. He elects to to move inside and then doddles in the ball. Gets taken off from Aberdeen's midfielders. Were very good at doing that tonight, uh, especially in the second half, but. They go forward. Ryan Jack sold by a good turn by Greg Stewart. A shot from the edge of the box is blocked. Bit of a ricochet, slightly unlucky, but a good finish from Cosgrove. And it's 1-1. How would we react to that? Well, we reacted brilliantly. We took the lead a few minutes later with a sublime goal, genuinely. I think a goal of the season candidate. It won't get that kind of credit because we tend to prefer you know the, the 30 yarders or whatever but what a finish this was again good play by by Ryan Jack he wins the ball gives it to Ryan Kent who slips in Alfredo Morelos and he just shifts it from one foot to the other uses the defender as a shield and passes it away past the, the defender into the far corner of the net a, a beautiful finish and totally totally did the goalkeeper with it um I think maybe he's best finished since since he arrived at Rangers. And Rangers now powering on and got a third from a penalty, which I would not have put money on tonight, given the furore. And uh, let's be honest, the last two days, when the last few days, where we've seen since the Old Firm victory a ramping up of campaigns. And you, you, you've seen it the last few days in the media. Basically, what they're trying to do is say to referees, if you give decisions for Rangers, this is what you'll get. You can do it, but you're going to have hell to pay in the next few days. But credit to Bobby Madden. He was helped by the increasingly confused Scott McKenna deciding that he was, in fact, Anton Rogan. And when a, a cross from a Rangers free kick came into the box, he decided to claim for offside literally as the ball hit his hand. Um, he just stuck his arm up and went, OK, um, stonewall penalty kick. James Tavernier just dispatched it. Uh, the keeper was a wee bit unlucky, got a hand on it. And it's all plain sailing. And to be honest, I was looking forward to the second half to going on and giving them a right doing because I, I thought we were more than capable of it. They would have to come out. It doesn't suit their game particularly against us and we could hit them in the break. The key was don't do anything stupid. That lasted all of two minutes when from an Aberdeen corner, James Tavernier wrestled Ferguson to the ground. Look, it was a penalty. The only defence I've seen people offer is, oh, well, if you're giving penalties for that, 10 penalties for game, it's a foul. It's a penalty. And look, Scottish football, a penalty was given against my team and I'm OK with it because it was a penalty. I don't need an investigation. I'm not writing to the SNP or to MFI. I'm not writing to anyone, any group of initials. It's OK. Sometimes it happens. Uh, from that, uh, Cosgrove, who's actually turning, I, I thought when I'd seen him earlier, he was a donkey, but he's turning into a decent player. He just about himself puts a penalty away with uh, Alan McGregor, maybe unlucky not to save it with his feet. And then the incident that the game turned on, 
Um, Alfredo Morelos tangles with Scott McKenna over in the corner. Um, McKenna lashes out at him and it looked a red card for him. Alfie left his foot in and uh, it's a tough one. Look, he's put himself in a position to be sent off. You could argue that a yellow would have been sufficient for him, but uh, based on what I've just said, it's always going to be easier for the referee to send both of them off than to send one. Um, it didn't help us. And look, I think we're past the stage of saying he needs to cut this from his game. He's not going to. You have to take that off with the smooth um, with Alfredo Morelos and it'll be the same wherever he moves on to. They'll have to do the same with him. Um, like I say, I can see why he was sent off and he didn't need to get involved. But McKenna has totally kicked it to him. I don't think Alfie's done himself any favour with the Olympic rolling a bit. But uh, both red carded. And what happened therefore is Aberdeen had lost a really bad player on the night and Rangers had lost their best one. So... Rangers dropped far too deep and caused ourselves bother, could have been in trouble. But Aberdeen never really made any chances apart from a, a ricochet after a stromash that Alan McGregor saves. I do think Rangers made some poor decisions. Uh, tactically, we dropped far too but, uh, too far back. We took Kent off, which was odd because he was our only out ball. But we did bring Jermaine Defoe on and that turned out to be crucial when, in injury time, seven minutes of it, uh, that wasn't good for the old ticker, when uh, Brian Jack does well again, takes the ball out to the corner, or looks as though he's going to, but then he sees James Tavernier making a dart inside, finds him and Tav, of course, brilliant at, at making things happen. He moves forward, slips it to Jermaine Defoe. What a finish. He's got ice in his veins, that guy. That's three goals already for Jermaine Defoe because this is what he does. He's going to score a shed load of goals for us. And that was enough for the victory. So 4-2, uh, an excellent one for Rangers. We really badly needed it to put down a marker and to get the three points more than anything else. I'm happy. I don't think it was our best performance. I actually think we've played better than that and not taking full points this season. But I'm more than happy to take those ones and move on to what will be a very difficult cup tie against Kilmarnock. Uh, I thought that Ryan Kent was outstanding. I thought until he got sent off, Alfredo Morelos was was fantastic. I, there were some poor players tonight. I thought Scott Arfield wasn't in it at all. I thought Jack and McCrory defensively were decent, but in possession were poor. I thought Barisic, first half was okay, but second half had an absolute nightmare. But we won. And we showed fight, and we showed heart, and we showed spirit. And after Motherwell earlier in the season, even Aberdeen, certain matches where we, we have Kilmarnock even two weeks ago, it was important, and I'm very pleased with it. We'll be back tomorrow on Heart and Hand Extra. There are two free weekly pods from us on a Monday and a Thursday. But if you want even more, please come to our Patreon site. Uh, it's patreon.com forward slash heart and hand, where for just one ninety nine per month, you'll get up to five shows every single day, including when you're buzzing after a, a match like that. You don't need to go and listen to BBC Scotland trying to get our players sighted. You can just go download our podcast on the match and listen to fellow Bears talking about what was a great victory for Rangers. I'll be back on... Uh, well, I won't be back on Saturday, sorry. Um, but I'll be back... Uh, in the match after that so until I speak to you again you have a good one take care bye